so hello everyone hope you guys are fine so now in this class we will learn about a very exciting thing which is a clean plate or a digital data chop so if you want to do that let's have a look what i am what i am trying to uh, actually make you understand which is uh, in visual effects language clean plating and digital touch up is a very important thing which help a particular artist to erase or put something on a character or on a scene actually so let's have a look if you over here if you look close to this footage you will find that there is uh, this woman had lot of uh, aging on her face and with the help of uh, a simple software called eb synth i can remove this whole uh, aging from whole footage so let's have a look now at this point you will see the aging had totally gone and it's like it's continued on the whole footage and how i had did that i will explain it in this chapter so but before that photoshop also have a very excited and cool feature which is content aware fill you'll see over here to make you understand that first let me go and create a new composition with this uh, footage so let me just drag over here in this footage you will see there's a person moving from this point to this point and if i say you to just remove this person from the footage what you will do you will use a basic technique called clean plate basically i mean this is also a type of clean plating actually because i had removed the aging from this whole uh, face to the whole footage and also in this footage you will see this character has a, a bitten mark or a mark on his face but also you see there is no beard and uh, any facial hair is over here but if i just on this layer you will see there's a slight of beard over here and it's continue on the footage what that that means i had created this as a frame and put this on footage with the help of eb synth but now let me go through this footage first then i will explain you about the synth eb synth so i will just crop around this much area and i will slice it with control shift and d and i will just simply delete it and press n to crop the timeline like this so here i have this thing so first of all what i have to do is to make a mask of that particular option or portion of from the footage which you have to erase from the footage for example i have to remove this particular portion like this particular portion or any of the portion i mean like if you see there is a bit of grading actually going on so i have to mask this character to the whole uh, moment of the footage so for that i will just select this and with the help of roto i will just mask it out and in mask option what you have to do is go over here and add like go with the none and now <clears throat> press a key over here on a mask get, uh, put a key on mask path and then with some of the frame just try to adjust it like this so that your character stay inside the mask you don't need to create a very high quality mask you just need a rough mask actually so i guess that's a bit of tweaking here like this this point so i had done with this and now what you have to do is you have to create a reference frame for that i have to create a two reference frame basically at this point so just select this layer and uh, create a reference frame so after that it will ask about the project where you have to save it so let me just go over my file option and over here new folder i will just add a 
okay and save it after that it will take me to the photoshop and over here you will have this option over here and now i also need one more thing which is at the end i also need this portion to be clean so i will just drag over here and also at this point i will create a reference frame so now it also created a reference frame and now why i had created two of them because i need the track information from this portion to put over here so let me just go over here and with the help of this option let me just go this area so i can just put it over there Control c to copy this and over here just simply press Control v and now i have to put this thing to just patch it up so let me just decrease the opacity Control t and let me just do a bit of tricking like this you will see it's working quite well like this this let me just erase the unwanted area so i can just use a mask option also or you can just simply delete it but with the help of alt and just click over here so that the mask is created i just only need to be fill this area so i'm just creating a simple mask thing over this portion only like this So roughly I had created a simple mask over here, just clean this area also. That's it. Now you will be able to see there is nothing and I had just Photoshop and clean plate that and just press, I will just simply press Ctrl S and the thing happened over here also. So if I just drag it over here and let me just delete the last frame because i had just used this frame to just get this data actually so i'll just delete this portion and over here you will see if you see the reference frame you will not find anything as it is a photoshop file so now what you have to do next actually just turn on the layer and remember the mask which we had created as over here in the mask operation we had given nothing actually so i have to just go over there and put a subtract node over there that means which show the black hole over here this layer will do a filling thing to the whole footage so now after that go over here and you will find an option called generate fill layer so just go over layer and put this it will analyze the footage and patch it now you will see there is another layer created over here which is the fill part let me just play the footage so now you will see there is nothing over the footage and if i just off this you will see it has created a patch over the area which you have created so now we have this So with this help you can create a patch or you can just uh, remove any object from the footage so make sure you have a graded footage actually that means you don't have a high and low brightness means the brightness and the uh, brightness stay and the contrast actually of the footage stay constant throughout the footage as you see there's a black patch over here which is happening because of this uh, high and low contrast and now this, uh, this is the technique to show you how you can do a simple content aware thing in this after effect 
but now i am to create this thing i'm going to take a third party plugin which is a free of cost so what you have to do actually to create this is first of all just make the sequence of the whole entire video which you had taken so to create that you have to just press ctrl m and go over here and just select the png sequence this is basically a good thing i'd have a high uh, pixel value so it can retain the quality as usual and now just save it anywhere whatever you wherever you want to do and just simply press render and after that you see you have three things first let me just uh, get back see this i had actually the did actually let me just create a new folder let me just drag this over here. so here i had created the footage portion actually and also i need two more footage uh, two more folders first is uh keyframe or you can say it a key clean plate keyframe i need another layer where my uh, export will happen or export will save and now what you have to do is you have to pick uh, any frame of this entire sequence and put it in photoshop and keep and simply just with the help of some tools just remove the blemishes and all uh, you can use the retouching tool like this to clean up this mark as i had already created the keyframe of this clip let me just go over here and before saving that remember one thing is that you have to save it with the same name which you had already saved with your sequence first frame name is means the name of your footage first frame should be same as to the keyframe first frame. and now over here you will find this recent and just click over here you will find this option and this software will help what thing let me just go with the folder what you have to do is first just click this and add video just drag it like this second time at the keyframes just drag it this png over here and now to create the output just press this just drag this export output. and now what you have to do is you have to do a bit of tweaking like first to get it maximum detail just keep it higher and increase the mapping detail to make it more realistic so i'm just keeping it 50 but it will take long time Diff flicker should be 3 and diversity should be 1000. So now let me just run this synthesize and everything is set, done. As you see, it's a green line is moving on, and then you see in the export option, you will find it actually matching the whole footage and matching with the motion. So this tool will help me also help me to create the this thing also. Like if you go over here, and I had created a simple keyframe on a first frame with the help of Photoshop and put it in the same and just go through the same process which i had did in this and we have the result of this one like this as in rear it doesn't have any beard or anything so now with the help of this tool you can add a tattoo over here or anything whatever you want it to but there is a defect of this plugin or this software that it blur your footage a bit so if you don't if you compromise with the blurring thing you had a great result but if you don't then you have to go with another plugin which is lockdown and you have to pay around 50 to 60 dollar for that but i will recommend this is a free and it's in beta version so you can try that so thank you very much guys hope you had learned and already explored a very good part of that so thank you very much guys see you in the next tutorial